Hey folks, dude here. Well, it looks like we're going to do another chapter here and the, uh, the cool technology that Peter Watts come up with by, you know, just looking around the internet and just being a generally, well, too smart guy. Uh, you basically have times where you're looking at the five-gallon bucket of stuff that you bought for the zombie apocalypse and you're going, crap, what do I do with this stuff? Well, um, well, what's in that jar all the way over to the right there, Peter? Oh, uh, that's lentils. And no, any particular variety, like a hard uh, weed or winter, dried, something kind of just, or just normal store, store shelf stuff. They're like a dollar a pound uh, lentils in the bean section. It's, uh, uh, the, the neat thing about lentils is they, uh, they don't take uh, 15 hours cooking in water for uh, the beans to break down. You know, something like uh, pinto beans, you know, what, four hours in the, in the, on the stove or in the crock pot before you can chew them. And these, these take me, you know, you know, just... Ham and of, little bean soup would be kick-ass. Yeah. So, mm. um, so, so the other thing I do is I spread it, and you can see, I got a, ex, a special spreader, and, you know, I didn't pay full price. It was, it was another thr thrift store find. Probably would have sat there on the shelf until it got thrown out, except I recognized what it was. And probably knew, when the, knew what the hell they were talking about when they put it on the shelf and gave it some ridiculously low price. Yeah. I don't know how much I paid for this. Oh, 50 cents. 50 cents for the jar and the lid. Those are good. I had some of those earlier. I grabbed a pair of chopsticks, scooped some out, and didn't put anything on them. But, man, they're good. And um, you said because they grow partially... Um, that they actually have like chemical composition changes and they actually have like more vitamins and stuff? Yeah, so uh, the sprouting, they're easy, these are about the easiest thing in the world to sprout. Uh, sometimes, these usually go mold before, before they, I don't know why, I don't know. The only, uh, the other thing that works really well is mud beans. I use mud beans uh, too. So you're basically your standard Asian sprouts. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, you'll never make them look like regular bean sprouts, but they will taste like them. When you do beans, when you do mud beans, uh, the only thing you gotta do is keep them keep them out of sunlight because they'll get bitter if, if they get sunlight. But not the lentils. The lentils are the easiest thing in the world to sprout. And they taste good. Yeah, and you can actually even sprout them if you had a big gulp cup and another. So here I've got a uh, plastic tub, but you get a big gulp cup and another cup that fits in it to give you an air gap. I'll show you how to make an improvised uh, sprouter. You could do that in your car cup holder. Pretty cool. Okay, so... Uh, and you see, when you sprout these guys, it doesn't matter if they're dark. They're not in the dark. They're not like mushrooms. They're not like mung beans. You pretty much just, well, throw them in there, add a little water, and let them just pop up. Yep, and uh, um, this will keep you uh, uh, from getting scurvy, too, because there's, uh, like, like a cup of this will give you, like, uh, I think it's 40% of your RDA for, uh, for vitamin C. All right, now, essentially, how long would these guys stay in that state without going moldy, rotten out, or just going bad? Um, a couple of days, well, he, um, they'll keep growing and keep getting bigger, uh, every day. So first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll, uh, measure out some of the lentils and soak them about overnight. Okay, after you've drained the water off, uh, every day you, you, you wash them. So, so let's, uh, uh, let's, uh, I'll show you how easy it is. You get some water, you pour it in. So basically, you just want to keep them wet. Uh, you don't want to keep them wet because they'll get rotten. So uh, I put the water in there. Maybe put a little more water, and then after they've gotten a good coat, then you want to drain them. Uh, and you drain them. So essentially, you're just you're feeding them. Yeah, yeah. They, they actually don't have to feed them anything but water, and that's all. That's all it's going to take. Uh, um, and then uh, I use. Uh, uh, it's got little bumps on here, but they're not big enough, so I got three bottle caps, so I'll leave it, leave it overnight like that. And on the third day, it'll start sprouting. These are about four days old. Uh, but I'm going to show you an improvised spreader, so you don't have to go and invest in that that uh, thing. Now, couldn't you basically take a, uh, a jar and, like, drill a bunch of holes in it or something? Yeah, you can do that, too. You can take a jar lid and drill some holes in it. Um, got work, probably plastic would be better. So I could do that to this lid. And it has to be a glass jar? It doesn't have to be a glass jar. Hmm, that, that sounds like potential for like an old mayonnaise jar if you got a few laying around. Yeah, a mayonnaise jar would have a lid on it that does. Or a coffee jar. But unfortunately, your sprouts might taste a little, well, Folgers. <laughs> or, you know, something choice. So, uh, I started making these uh, just so I could, uh, you know, rinse them once. And I go rinse, I put the sprouts in here. 
and then I rinse them once, and then I just put it, put it, put it in here, and uh, it would they would drain slowly, because you don't want to leave them sitting in water with a rot. So the first thing you would do making this is you want to soak your lentils overnight. So um, let's start another batch here, because I'm going to finish these. A little salad dressing, a little bit of oil and vinegar, yeah. probably pretty tasty. Okay, I'm going to Now, have you ever done anything like add in and like make like maybe like a veggie burger or something? Uh, I guess you could do that. Uh, just usually... I mean, you know, like, I'm thinking like the TVP crowd, you know, you basically got like um, the vegetarians among us and I don't want to leave anybody disaffected, but you know, even I'll eat a veggie burger or something if I'm hungry. I mean, hell, bacon bits are basically TVP and they're not bad. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what. What I do is uh, cook up burgers, and I guess they can be any kind of burgers. They're usually beef or chicken for me. And I'll uh, put this on top uh, of the burger with a slice of tomato or something like that. So basically poor man's iceberg lettuce. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you can actually do this while you're hiking. I don't see any reason why, uh, you know, that's not high tech. So uh, let's say these are soaked overnight, okay? You want to suck them overnight, and uh, now you want to drain them. And this one fits in here as a lid. And uh, what we're going to do is going to make some holes in the bottom. I used to make holes with a poker. Uh, and they work. You can do that with a poker. But I found that making slits works better. Okay, which Spyderco is that one? Uh, wow, um, where's your Spyderco? <laughs> On my pocket as usual. Yep. A little bigger handle, a little bigger blade, but basically they're both definitely spider codes. Mine's a Goddard, yours is an Endura, right? Yeah, my original one was uh, red. And you had the plastic clips that kept popping, right? Yeah, so I yeah, sent Yeah, I remember it, you sent me an email about that. So I sent it back to uh, the factory, and they uh, sent me this one with the metal clip, and uh, I've been carrying around for a couple of weeks. And, uh, and you're a Southpaw, so your clip is on the other side than me. Yep. Yeah, I, I guess you can swap. This is how it can Yeah, you just factory. unscrew it with two coins and it just flips over. All right, yeah. So. Uh, or you can even put it, if you got the varieties, you can even put it on the top. Um, some of them you can switch around. It, it, Spider Co is pretty good about that. So, well, they covered it under warranty, so I guess I'm happy. So, I, I don't. I so, you're just dragging just a slit. Yeah, just a slit. See, now a slit is much easier to clean the holes, um, and it's faster, too. Um, and uh, you probably have a knife on you, and you probably don't have a, uh, a skewer on you. So uh, I've made three slices, and uh, that's going to keep your beans from falling out. But it'll give you air going through and keep them happy. Right, so I'm going to assume these soaked overnight. So uh, when you're done, you just I'm going to pour off. I'm just going to pour them in here, let some of the water. And I show them all my dirty dishes in the sink, huh? Uh, that's all right. People have seen dirty dishes before. They've yeah, seen yeah. dirty dishes in public, even. Yeah, it's a no big deal. Okay, so uh, now I dump them into the supper part here. Okay, and uh, the water is going to slowly drain, and uh, you want to get it. You want to get you know ninety nine percent of the water off, which will only take a second or so, and then it's going to slowly drip out of those slits. Uh, so I'll put it in here and oops. And I usually get a chopstick or something like that. And what's that do? What that is doing is um, it's breaking the seal between the uh, lower. Uh, it'll allow it allow no vacuum or overpressure to occur. All right. So uh, the damp beans are gonna drip, drip, drip all day, just like these are doing. You know, they're moist, but they're not sitting in water. And uh, there, now, you know, like I said, you can make one. Uh, uh, um, small enough to fit in your car cup holder if you want to make uh... And there's tons of recipes online for all kinds of bean sprouts, and I rather like them. I mean, I love Asian food. Uh, bean sprouts, uh, you know, the water chestnuts, they're like two of my absolute favorites on uh, top of any recipe. And, um, yeah, and that, he just uh, handed me some chopsticks. Yeah, and, uh, like I said, yeah, if you're doing this with, be with the other with long sprouts, you got to keep this jar... Or whatever your sprouter in the cabinet, and you gotta remember, you gotta remember to, uh, you gotta remember to um, uh, rinse them every day, which is the only tough part I found about making bean sprouts from uh, oh. mug beans. And the lentils actually did get a little bigger too. So excuse me one second. Yeah. Here. Mm. 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 They are 
They are good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's surprising to think that something that was a rock hard and not very good for your teeth a couple days ago was pretty damn tasty. Okay, once, you're, once you mm. have them spread, mm. uh, you can stick them in the fridge if you want, make them last a little longer. Uh, but they usually don't end up there, because they usually... <laughs> Why not be eating them all? Mm. They do have a good nutty, grassy thing. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking them. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good shit, isn't it, man? Mm. I'm just thinking it's cool to think that you go from something that looks like that to something that looks like that with absolutely low technology. Good times and uh, here on A's Podcast Channel, um, eat your sprouts. <laughs> Good times. Uh, mm. Here on A's Podcast Channel, I say, see you as always, always. Urgh!